Hi guys, I'm here at my new bar in Melbourne. Uh, it's called Good Water up in Northcote. So we're very much a neighborhood bar. We've got good uh, wine, good beer, good snacks, good times, but we also have a pretty awesome collection of American whiskey. And in Australia, that's quite rare. Uh, so basically the first thing that we get asked often is like, oh, you're a whiskey bar, you know, what scotches do you have? And then we have to sort of explain that we have a few, but their main focus is more so American. And then the next misconception is basically that all American whiskey is bourbon. And while there is obviously a lot of awesome bourbon out there, that's not true. Uh, there's also other styles of whiskey being made um, in America. And you're seeing, especially now with a lot of kind of craft distilleries, some pretty new and interesting uh, types popping up there. Uh, so we've got quite a wide range. So first of all, um, to explain what bourbon is, for anyone that doesn't know, it's uh, just a, a green whiskey, but it needs to be made from at least 51% corn. Uh, some bourbon will be really high in corn. Um, others will basically just do the 51% corn and use that other 49% for different um, grains. So the most usual ones are rye, wheat, and barley. Uh, malted barley actually just helps really like kick off the um, fermentation process if you want to get a little bit technical there. So most do have a little bit in, of that in there to kind of get the yeast nice and hungry so that it starts working on the other grains in the mash bill. But not all American whiskey is bourbon and the most common other kind of American whiskey is rye. Obviously that's pretty common, um, also delicious. If you think of the difference between cornbread and rye bread, that sort of explains the difference between bourbon and rye. Uh, so you can get some bourbons which are higher in rye and so they'll be a bit spicier and kind of almost like I get like a chewy sort of toffee note to a lot of them as well. And then you also have some full rye whiskies, which means that rather than being 51% corn, they're at least 51% rye. Uh, it can obviously go all the way up to 100% rye. Um, a lot of uh, rye whiskey is actually 95% rye so it's like pretty pretty high pretty spicy nice and kind of dry um but up to each distillery now you can also have bourbon like this one which is one of my favorites little weller which is what they call a wheated bourbon so rather than using the rest of that kind of mash bill um that's not corn rather than using a lot of rye in there they actually use wheat um, and I think as a Scotch drinker, I found this like a really easy kind of entry into American whiskey because they're generally a bit softer, rounder, richer, have like a really nice texture to them. Um, so if you have ever kind of struggled with bourbon, then that could be a good place to start for you. You can also have something like this Bernheim, which is actually a wheated whiskey. So at least 51% wheat um, to qualify as that. So sort of flip reversing on the previous one. Um, also really delicious, super nice and kind of gentle and easy, um, but keeps a really good texture. And then you can also actually even make single malts in America. So obviously more synonymous with Scotland and now Japan, Australia, uh, but that one has to be 100% malted barley. Uh, they also can be done a little bit more traditionally, whereas basically most bourbons and ryes are just in charred oak barrels, American oak barrels. These are ones can often be finished. So this one was actually in a musket cask. Um, so again, a good entryway if you usually drink scotch to try something American, but that's more similar in style to what you would normally drink. And then last but not least, we're even making some American style whiskey here in Australia now. So the Gospel is one of my absolute favorite distilleries um, and they make rye using 100% um, Australian rye. It actually makes a lot of sense because rye grows really well here. Like the climate's actually pretty similar to, um, you know, a lot of the whiskey making regions in America too. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, so pretty excited to see them doing some fun stuff. And again, this is just their straight rye whiskey, but they also have some interesting cask finishes. Like we've got a stout cask finish from them um, and we've had a vermouth cask, which is very delicious as well. Uh, so don't get stuck in thinking that American whiskey only means one thing. There's a whole world to explore out there if you just do a little bit of digging around. Uh, today I actually have the car with me, so I've not tasted through these, um, but if you want me to leave the car next time and we can do a proper tasting and some tasting notes on some of the fun bottles that we have here, then definitely let me know in the comments. So all American whiskey is not bourbon. So now you know.